all of the Miss Americas say how exhausting it oh. was. Now, why don't you I tell was, us a little I bit? I was exhausted after my year. I was the 50th Miss America, which was the other big milestone year, and I'm the only one with the gold crown. And so that makes me different. (laughs) And I dropped it, in fact, and had to pick it up and carry it. So I'm the klutzy one, too. I gave 110% every time I went out because first impression is so lasting and very important. When you're Miss America and you're an ambassador, people are prejudging you constantly. There are all these preconceived images. When I went on the Johnny Carson show three nights after I won, he had made a comment like earlier you know, a, a month earlier saying Miss America's was like talking to redwood fences, meaning they don't have any personality, they're stiff, and they come on my show every year. So when I went on, he said, why didn't you wear your crown? You're afraid you afraid you'd drop it again. And I said, that's right, Johnny, but I'm the klutzy one. You're never going to forget me, are you, Johnny? And we started laughing. You can't take yourself so seriously. I was on his show three or four times after that because we just laughed and had fun. You're so intense. You have to look good. You're like a politician a doctor, an ambassador, everything rolled up into one. A politician that you're out there speaking on subjects uh, and many times that you're not even, you shouldn't even be speaking on. You know, your platform is one thing, but you better have an opinion on everything else that's happening out there because you will be asked about it. And, And you're getting to sleep in the White House tonight? Yes. Do you have a preference for a room that you'd stay in? Do you well, know? Since my son's named Lincoln, I'd like to stay in the Lincoln's bedroom. But I have stayed there before. In fact, in fact, I was pregnant with Lincoln during the Carter administration. You were pregnant by Lincoln in the with, pre- what? what? No, I was pregnant with ah. Lincoln in my tummy. Yes. <laughs> and we stayed in Lincoln's bedroom. And it's ironic that my son. We ended up naming Lincoln Lincoln.